Dr. Seidela has published a technique similar to thin needle aspiration biopsy. He uses a hypodermic needle and samples the lesion by simply moving the needle tip back and forth through the target. The advantage of this technique is that it makes it easier to place the needle within a small target. Part of the reason for this is that when using only the needle, it is possible to discern even slight differences in consistency as the needle advances. This helps in assuring that the needle is in the correct place, since most targets will have increased consistency compared to the surrounding tissue, which is usually subcutaneous fat. With some practice, it is even possible to appreciate the brief resistance caused by the penetration of a thin capsule such as that surrounding a lymph node. This difference in consistency experienced as the needle penetrates is harder to appreciate when using a syringe and a holder. A second advantage of using only the needle without suction is that there tends to be less admixture of blood when sampling highly vascularized targets. One disadvantage of the needle-only technique is that on the average, it appears to yield less material. In some cases, in my experience, there will be a dry tap, while subsequent samplings using aspiration will yield diagnostic material. Further, if the lesion is cystic, there may be overflow. This may be alleviated by attaching a syringe barrel that will catch the fluid. In order to get the advantages of both techniques, one can attach tubing and a syringe to the handheld needle and have an assistant apply suction during the sampling.